back. We've got a tomato transplant here. Um, we're going to dig up our soil. I've got a jar of triple 13 fertilizer and I also have some eggs. Remember to put an egg in the hole to prevent blossom end rot. So right here, I've, I've got my cage kind of spaced out and know exactly where I need to put this. Um, that's just what I like to do. And we'll see what we've got because I'm not <laughs> that good at judging something. So I'm just going to make a little spot. You have plenty of room, I do know that, with all of your tomato transplants. And what I'm going to do is dig a deep hole with this because I'm going to try to plant it up as far as I can go. You can take off the bottom um, leaves and it'll just make, from what I understand, roots there. It'll either scab over and that's good. That's what you want. You want the soil nice and loose. I got the um, back by the our little cucumber fence by the chickens. I got it it out for a day, and it looks really good. Weeding is so important, guys. With any type of gardening, you have to weed. And I know that's everybody's least favorite chore, but it really does make a difference. You want everything nice and clean because if not, then you're going to have, you know, your plants are going to compete with the weeds for nutrients. The weeds will strangle out the plants. It just gets to be, you have to stay on top of it. Now, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but see this red coming up? We have red clay dirt and all of this dirt in this raised bed was added. It was actually topsoil. So I don't want to get too awfully deep because that stuff, it just is not that good. Okay, now I can see my line where I hit. I need room for the egg. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Perfect. You want to leave enough of the tomato plant though where it'll still absorb sunlight through the leaves and grow. So I'm going to mix in a little fertilizer. <laughs> and I'm going to put an egg in here. If you've not watched our other video, I talked about Blossom in rot. It's the $1 mop buckets from Dollar Tree that I was planting in. And I also talked about eggs. So anything that has a fruit and a blossom like this can be apt to blossom in rot. Put a little bit more fertilizer. So I put the egg down in there, crack it open. Make sure you crack it open. That's very important. All right, so this little yellow bottom leaf we're just going to snip him off. And I believe this leaf as well. Perfect. Alright. Gently take it out of your cup. Got great root growth. Looks good. Be very careful. Get all of the air out so that's why you mash it down you don't want you know air pockets in your uh, planting area now what I like to do is like I said I've already got the cage out I said I like trying to straighten him up if your plants a little crooked don't worry about it it's forgiving I like to make a an indention all the way around. 
very loosely, but I do like to do that because if I want to come back in here and add Epsom salt or anything like that, I've got that indention. And also, where I can um, sprinkle any kind of amendment, I also um, do this. That way, when it gets watered, water will kind of stay in that thorough. That's just what I like to do. That's just me. Make sure all that is firm. Now, we're on to the next one. But I am going to go ahead and put the cage around it because these will shoot up quickly. And this one is actually, uh, I think, concrete wire. And we left the end where there's little spikes. And we just plug it down in there. And we bent the wire back over on itself. And this is sturdy as it can be. And there's our first tomato. So we'll go on down the road and keep making some more.